Hey, everybody. How is everyone? It is already the middle of March. Can't believe it. Uh, this year, if, if you guys are like us, this year is flying, flying by. Um, but it's a beautiful thing. So coming at you guys with some February data. Uh, this data just came out. And um, it's really interesting because um, what we've seen over the last 45 days um, is a big increase in optimism in the market, um, despite interest rates being, you know, higher than the last few years. Um, a lot more buyers are coming out. A lot of sellers are still getting uh, top dollar. We actually put a house on the market uh, last week and it got five offers um, and it's going to potentially set a new record for that neighborhood. So the market is dynamic. Um, buyers and sellers are out there. Now let's look at the data. Um, all right, so for Frederick County, there's only 273 sales in February. Year over year, that's down 17%, okay? And then the median price in Frederick County was 445 for February, okay? Um, so with this decrease in um, sales, what that means is that our sellers are going to be continuing to get top dollar, Right. Because there's not enough homes on the market to absorb the demand that's out there. Right. And because there's fewer opportunities and fewer listings, our buyers are more likely to be in, in more competitive situations than they were just six months ago. OK, so, so that's kind of where we are. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as we continue to monitor things on more of a regional level, um, new listings are certainly down year over year. Um, and. Uh, the month of supply, meaning how much supply is in the marketplace, is exceedingly low still. It's about one month of supply. Okay, so you guys have heard me be a broken record on this. Until, until we get an influx of supply, we are going to continue to have a strong seller's market, right? And it begs the question, where is supply going to come from? Um, if you look at some of the uh, data um, in terms of construction, there is not enough uh, new construction coming into the market. Um, so a, a, a supply shock scenario, we call it. So a supply shock scenario um, where there's not enough supply that the system takes a shock is very unlikely to happen. OK, um, so some more data uh, just to get nerdy with you guys on it for another minute. Um, the uh, days on market for Frederick County is, is uh, up to 25, which is a little bit longer um, year over year. It's actually a lot longer. It's up 20 days. Um, generally speaking, the days on market year over year is up um, throughout the region, all counties. Um, but 25 days on market is still exceedingly low. OK, there's only 0.77 months of supply in Frederick. OK. Um, so this is still just an incredible um, seller's market. If you're a seller right now and you have somewhere to go or you're motivated to go somewhere, chances are we're going to be able to get you top dollar. Um, a lot of our sellers right now are finding opportunities um, to sell off market, right? Um, and for our buyers, it, it's taking a lot more creativity to find something, okay? So that's kind of where we are. We're going to see what happens as we get into uh, the second quarter here. Obviously, there's some big uh, developments in the banking industry. We'll see how that affects interest rates. Um, obviously, a couple of banks have been uh, really seriously affected and um, are now um, have gone under. Right. So um, what is that going to mean for interest rates? Are we going to get some interest rate relief? Man, if we get interest rate relief, it's kind of going to be a blessing and a curse. Right. For our buyers, interest rate relief is going to give them some afford much needed affordability back. Right now, what's it going to do for demand? If there's a decrease in interest rates, the demand is going to go through the roof. OK, um, and if that happens, I see us getting back to, um, you know, a, a potentially 10, 15 offer scenario again. Right. Right now we're seeing maybe three to five offers, um, which is up probably 100 percent from from uh, fourth quarter last year. Um, if we get interest rate relief, the demand is going to go through the roof. Right. So the messaging right now is if you're a buyer, you know, let's try to get you in um, before um, rates go down, because if rates do go down, you're going to find an opportunity to refinance 
um, and potentially buy something now in a little bit less competitive environment. And then if you're a seller, take advantage of this low supply, right? Um, supply and demand. There's so little supply. There's so much demand right now. You're going to be able to get what you want. Um, so that's it, guys. We've got a couple great events coming up. April 2nd, Attaboy Barrel House, open bar, free pizza truck, cigar roller, live band. Have a nice day. Um, April 26th, we're going to have our first annual investor seminar. This is not for you seasoned investors out there. This is for the people who have sat on their couch, who have thought about, how am I going to pay for college one day? Or how can I supplement my retirement? This is for you, right? This is for the first time home, uh, excuse me, the first time investor, or maybe the second time investor who wants to maybe try something different, maybe flipping or short term. Uh, we're going to have an incredible night at Hooch and Banner on April 26th. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of um, uh, vendors there, including lenders, hard money, um, construction, and it's going to be incredibly valuable. So our goal and our mission is for our people to build wealth through real, real estate. And April 26th from 6 to 9 at Hooch and Banner is going to be a great place to come learn how to do that. All right, guys. That's it for March. Oh, happy birthday to my wife. It's her birthday tomorrow. 32. Peace.